Next, let's look at adding titles to our videos in iMovie HD. Today I'm going to be working with a still image, our old haunted house here. And to add titles, I go to editing. Up at the top here, the first tab is titles. So this is adding a title, an end credit, or some kind of caption somewhere in your video. You have an option to either have your writing over a black background, like this, or you can have your writing over the video that you've created. So if you want it over the video, you have to select the part of the video that you want it on. Make sure that this part here that says over black is not selected and then it will overlay your work on top of that video. If you want it over black, make sure that you click over black. Now the first step is choosing your title style. In fact, iMovie won't let you add a title until you've selected one of these styles that you like. And it, in my computer, it shows up green as a highlight. If you see any of these with a little arrow, that means that there's more options underneath it. So it's a good idea to kind of go through these and see which ones you like the best. Some of these have different options that you can change. Other ones don't. Certain ones will have kind of a style or mood to them. Whenever you see this little yellow bubble, this means that you can move your text wherever you want on the screen. And if I start this over again, I might be able to see where that's going to come so I can move that around if I want to. Some of these let you change the direction of the where the title originates from. And if you see this plus and minus, it will let you add multiple levels to your title. That's especially if you're writing in a lot of information, especially in like a slideshow. And if you are going to type out more than just a basic title, remember this rule of thumb. You can only write as much information as this space allows. It will actually let you keep writing forever. I could write a thousand word essay, but if you write it all on one line, it's going to squish it all together and make the writing so small you won't be able to read it. So I always write up until this ends, maybe finish out that word, and then go on to the next line. That way you know that all your writing is nice and big and easy to read. The other thing that you kind of want to pay attention to is the family, which is the font that you choose, should be easy to read. Some of these will be easier to read than others. So always pick ones that are nice and bold and really pop out at your audience. You really want your audience to be able to read your work, so making sure that the size is big and um, pick a color that's going to pop out. If I choose a really dark color, it may be kind of hard to see it, and we want to make sure that we can read it. That's the most important thing. You want your audience to get the information you're trying to show them. So always check that the color pops out and that the font style you pick is nice and clear. The other thing that you'll have to play around with is this area here, the speed and pause. Speed is how long the title goes on for. And remember our time code here, this last area is frames and there are 30 frames in a second. So this is about four seconds long. This is the speed and the pause is how long will it pause and just kind of sit there for us to read. I've noticed that this does not work very well in iMovie. So you'll end up sometimes with a lot of extra excess black at the end of your title. So the speed might be the way to kind of keep that on there nice and long. You can always preview, so you can go back, rewind it, preview it, see if you like it. Looks all right. And if I want to add it, I just hit add. And as this is going in, I'm already noticing that there's it's a really long title. In fact, my total duration down here says it's 20 seconds and 15 frames. So if I wanted to change that, maybe it's too long, too short, I can change these and then I would just hit update. Updating it will just change the clip that you've already created. If I hit add, it's going to add a new clip on top of that. So be careful about adding extra stuff here. Now I always want to watch my work and make sure that it looks right. So I'm going to take a look 
make sure it's on there long enough to be able to read. And notice there's all this extra black excess. So I'm going to cut out the part that I don't want. In fact, I think I'm gonna go right to where it kind of blips out. And now I'm going to cut this. There's a couple ways to do this. One of them is you can come up here to edit and split video clip at playhead. But I always just like to use that shortcut, Command T. So wherever this playhead is, that's what this little line is, I can move that to the point that I wanna make the cut, just like having a pair of scissors, and Command T will cut it. Now I have two separate clips. Did I wanna keep this one? Nope, just a blank background. So I'm gonna select it, delete it, and now I can rewind this and take a look at my title. Looks okay. Now let's take a look at our next topic, which is working with transitions.